Hi, this is Matt from TracyMatt.co.uk, and here I have the new Nokia E71, which we're just going to do a quick unbox. It's a pretty standard box design from Nokia. Just open it up. We have the E71 right on top, which I'll look at in more detail in a second. We also have a set of headphones, which have an inline microphone with push button. No volume control though. And obviously the headphones on the far end, which are kind of okay, nothing too much to uh, to talk about there. And a, and a two and a half mil jack, which is a four pole. I have the standard Nokia style charger, very small, with a small connector on the other end. There is a pouch. Here, which is a leather pouch, quite attractive design, which the phone just pops in the side. It's open on the side and the top. No belt loop though. It's also a small lanyard. Which attaches to, to the E71 as a hand strap. USB sync and charge cable for transferring data to and from the E71 uh, from your PC. There's the battery, which is a pretty large battery actually. It's battery, 1500 milliamp hours. Should be good for quite a bit of battery life. We have a CD-ROM with all the E-Series software and online manual. And underneath we have registration card for your warranty, getting started guide, guide for accessories and sat nav software, and then the full manual itself, which is uh, quite thick and uh, is pretty much black and white with the screenshots and so on. Let's move all that out of the way then. I'll have a look at the E71 itself. Quite an attractive design, nice shiny chrome finish to it. Has this sort of lump on the bottom which almost looks like it's been stuck on afterwards. Looks like it should be removable, clearly obviously it isn't. The screen itself is quarter, quarter VGA, 320 by 240 pixels and it's 2.4 inches diagonal. Completely flush there with the front. Stand, pretty standard style keys underneath, there's soft keys with a D-pad, there's a home calendar, contact and email button, red and green phone keys for your send and end keys and then your QWERTY keyboard. Good responsive buttons on the keyboard although they are a little small, not particularly well raised but again comment on that once we've had a chance to give it a full road test and review. On top you've got the power button and a grill over a loudspeaker. Running down the left hand side, IRDA is a cover over a micro SD card slot and there is a micro SD card in there first comment is that it's next to impossible to remove that micro SD card with your finger so we'll leave that alone for now underneath that have a cover over that USB connector for hooking it up to your computer running around the bottom is the connector for the power adapter then up the right hand side have a up down control for volume and scrolling and there's a push button in the centre which acts as a soft key and activates certain things on the screen and then this is where you plug in the headphones on the back there is a 3.2 megapixel autofocus camera with a built in mobile light style flash and a mirror for taking photographs of yourself Opening the back is a case of pushing down the two buttons that are on either side and lifting the cover off. SIM card goes just in here and the battery pops in there just like that. Cover itself is metal rather than plastic and pops back on so. And we just power that up. 
when we look at the rest of the specification. It weighs only 127 grams, including the battery, so quite lightweight, quite slim as you can see there. And if we compare that to the Samsung i600, which is of a similar design, see they're fairly similar in terms of size, top to bottom, and in terms of thickness and width, as you can see there. Although the Nokia E71 is a much more attractive device. But just in the few minutes that I've been looking at this and unboxing already, this started to show a great number of fingerprints and marks on there just from actually handling it in that short period of time. So obviously this is definitely a fingerprint magnet. There's a 396 MHz processor built in there with 256 MB ROM, although only 110 of that is actually accessible to the user. Uh, RAM is 128 MB. It is quad band and does support GPRS, Edge, 3G and HSDPA. Bluetooth 2 with EDR and wireless LAN which is 802.11b and G. That infrared will support up to 115,000 bits per second. Built in FM radio with RDS. It also built in uh, AGPS. And what I haven't mentioned already is a very tiny front facing camera just on the front there which is used for video conferencing. Absolutely microscopic and very easy to miss there. Setting up initially asks you for your location. So let's go all the way through to United Kingdom and we'll select London. I'll select all the defaults there. As you can see, as you, can see you get a welcome screen which tells you how to use your new phone and a getting started guide immediately on the screen there which we'll just skip. Camera function with soft keys and a menu function with the other soft key which we'll cover in greater detail in the review itself, which we'll have for you in about a week or so.